Is there anything that you can improve in your YouTube channel? Today we will be talking about things that I have found and things that you may find that you can improve. Because I know I've been doing YouTube for seven days straight and I have found a lot of things that I can improve in my channel. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome to Homeschool Filmmaker. I am so excited for another day of the 30 day challenge. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we would love for you guys to join us on that and on the channel. Today, as I said, I'm going to be talking about things that I have found and things that you may find that you can help to improve in your YouTube channel. So, that's something I can improve of. I say so a lot. I've always said so. So, uh, I am going to be learning how to improve. So, I say so a lot, as you can tell. I want to take my time, and maybe even when I talk, I could stop saying so a lot. You know, like, if you say something, like, if I say, so, how was your day? Yeah, so I say so a lot, and I am so happy that maybe you guys can even help me. Maybe you can comment down below suggestions to help me stop saying so, so much. Another thing that has helped me is that I stutter a lot, or repeat things a lot. So I know I can take it out in the edit, but Devin and Camera has helped me with that because I've always stuttered. So I've said you, and then I would say you again because it's just something that I've always done. I don't know why I do it. One thing that has helped me with to stop stuttering is that when I speak into the camera, I feel like I'm speaking. I'm not really speaking to a person, so I'm not really that nervous. But I'm more nervous when I speak to people in public. So it has really helped me to talk into the camera because that has helped with me stop stuttering. I have also noticed that when the camera stopped rolling, I immediately look away. And even though in the edit, it's really hard, even though we can edit it, it's really hard to cut it out because we have to cut the video. So. Is there a way that I could stop doing that? Well, here's the answer. I'm going to keep practicing. And also, there's so many times that I'll do it in between scenes. So maybe I could be talking more or talking a little less so stop and then maybe count to three in my head and then look away. So, my, so we have time to cut it. Another thing that I want to improve is I know that when I speak, I can stop sometimes. So I want to learn how to speak more fluently through the videos because it will help me, especially when I'm talking to people, I'll forget a lot. And maybe it could help me that I have something so that I don't keep stopping in between sentences because I do that a lot, even without me speaking on camera. If I'm talking to somebody, I'll immediately stop and then keep doing it. Now, I need to find a way to help me. So that's another thing that could help me improve it. Another thing that I want to improve on is more scenes. Because when you see vloggers, they have a lot of scenes, like they have a cup of coffee, and they'll take you through your day. Even though I'm not a vlogger, but I do do vlogs sometimes, I would love to get more scenes in because that will help me and help you guys because that's more content and I love creating content. So that's another thing that I would love to work on. What are things that you do to plan out your scenes? What are things that you think that other videos can improve on? 
Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Thank you for joining us for Homeschool Filmmaker. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the video, and those are some things that I would love to improve on in this video. And don't forget, this weekend we're going to New Hampshire, so you'll be with us on that trip, and I'm so excited to take you guys along. Have a great day.